Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Adobe Live. My name is Terry White, worldwide photography evangelist here at Adobe. Happy Friday. It's my favorite day of the week because I get to do this masterclass for you guys live. So if you are new to Adobe Live, welcome. If this is your uh, first time on my masterclass, welcome. If you're watching the replay, thanks for watching the replay. I love replay numbers just as much as I love live numbers. Uh, there are lots of you in the chat and I see some of you coming in from different platforms. If you're watching this on a different platform, that's cool. But if you really want me to see your question or your comment or whatever it is you want to show me, uh, be sure to head over to b.net slash Adobe Live so that I can see your question. And I can see the one from Scott Kelby coming in on Facebook. Scott, how are you this morning? As well as my good friend Kevin Stewart from San Diego over on Facebook. But again, if you really want me to see a question, I'm not sure they're going to be able to watch both chats simultaneously. All right. Uh, so, let, <laughs> yes. Yes, you know the whole thing with chats, but you're new. You're not new. So I have to say it each time for the people that don't know. All right. With that said, today's topic is going to be one that actually um, was one that came in from the Lightroom conference that I did a couple weeks ago. So I was in the Kelby One Lightroom conference and I did a class on, I don't remember, it was something to do <laughs> It was something to do with your Lightroom, uh, managing your light, or how to fix Lightroom disasters and all that. So um, I talked about combining things into one catalog to kind of keep it simpler. And I think we're at a point now where Lightroom Classic can certainly handle hundreds of thousands, if not millions of images in one catalog if you're using Classic. And also um, that enables you to sync to the cloud because Lightroom Classic can only sync to one catalog at a time. So that then brought up the question, well, how do I combine my images into multiple catalogs? So, or my catalogs into one catalog. So I uh, created a YouTube video for that. It's a short, um, I think under 10 minute, like eight minute video on how you would combine multiple catalogs together. And uh, then we were, um, of course, that led into all kinds of sync questions all kinds of, well, if I'm on this, how does this sync? If I shoot it with my phone, does it sync? If I, if I have hundreds of thousands of images, will that tie up all that space on my phone? If I'm in classic and I um, make an edit, does it show up on my phone? If I um, am in the Lightroom desktop version, how do I get those images to sync to classic? It, it, just, it just brought up a million point two <laughs> Lightroom syncing questions. So this topic is to once and for all answer all those questions about combine. Oh, thanks for uh, Sam for bringing that uh, link up. But this is once and for all to answer every question I can that came up and every question you can ask that I know about syncing across the Lightroom ecosystem. So let's just call it that. Because uh, some of you might be just on Lightroom. And by the way, if you're just on Lightroom, not Lightroom Classic, your problems are pretty much solved. Because Lightroom, whether it's on your desktop, your iPad, your mobile phone, um, they, it automatically syncs across all devices, full resolution. You're good to go. The questions usually come in when it's a Lightroom Classic user that wants to sync and have images be on multiple devices. That's when it becomes dicey. So I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna show it, I'm gonna give you examples, we're gonna combine, we're gonna shoot, we're gonna do all kinds of things to show you what syncing is like across the board. All right, um, will we still need to watch the YouTube video after this? Only if you don't know how to combine multiple catalogs. Like, so I'm, I'm not really covering that, because I covered that in the video. So I'm not gonna waste time here with that one. But if you still have questions about combining uh, catalogs into one, then yeah, yeah, go watch that video separately because that's what that video covers. I'm gonna cover all the syncing stuff in this video. All right, so with that said, uh, let me go ahead and switch over to my desktop. Let's get rid of the banner, desktop, here we go. And uh, so I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, let's get messy. That's what we're about to do. So let's let's take it from the top. This is Lightroom, Adobe Lightroom. Now there are two versions of Lightroom for the desktop. There's Adobe Lightroom 
Some like to refer to it as the cloud, Adobe Lightroom Cloud or the cloud version. And then there's Lightroom Classic, which I'll pop over and show you that. Lightroom Classic as well. And um, that's the classic version that we've used for, you know, 14, 15 years. So um, wh whichever one you're using will de determine what comes next. Because if you're on this version, then you're pretty much, like I said, good to go. Because this is on your desktop, Mac or Windows. This is the same version that's on your phone, iOS or Android, or on an iPad. And whatever you do in any one of those devices happens across the board. If you import a 20 megapixel raw image, that 20 megapixel raw image gets backed up and synced to the cloud in its full resolution, native raw format, whatever that format happens to be. And then it's available on your devices. So if you're just using the cloud version, there's not, you can, there's, you can just sit along and watch, but there's not a whole lot more you need to know because you don't have to deal with classic, meaning you don't have to deal with smart previews and what syncs and what's allowed and what's not. Because then the only thing you'd have to manage from this standpoint is whether or not you have enough storage to handle all of your image. That's it. And that's just something you pay for. But so once again, if all you use is Adobe Lightroom, not classic, and you use it on your desktop, phone, iPad, you're all set. Import your images on any device. The, all the full resolution of those images sync up to the cloud and are available on all your devices. You make any changes on any device, the changes are replicated across the board. So for example, I've got Lightroom here on my phone. Let me go ahead and fire it up. And let me go to that, so here, let me show you my phone. I think I got in the background here. All right, there's my phone, here's Lightroom. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop over to demo and I'm going to go into the I think it's the what's new No, not that what's new Scroll 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 Wait, which collection am I in? what's new in Lightroom? I have to go look it up. What's new in Lightroom? Classic 2019 Nope, I'm in the wrong area. That's why hang on Sorry folks. I'm in one collection set deeper all right, let's go into Photography Masterclass. There we go. Now we can go into the what's new, fall 22. There, all right, so we're looking at the same images um, on my phone that I have in Lightroom. Now, if I make a change in either one, so let's say I go to this flower and I go to the crop and I go ahead and flip it. So all I did was just flip it horizontally so it faces the other way. Once I say I'm done with that change, once I get out of the editing part of that image, Lightroom will sync the metadata of that change up to the cloud because the full, the, I don't know about the full resolution, but the image is already in the cloud and therefore it only needs to sync the little text, the instruction of what I did to make it flip. So that's how the syncing would normally work. And then once that syncing is complete, it will say synced and backed up on my phone. And as you just saw happen in the background, it synced and flipped it on my desktop as well. So that's like you're in Nirvana at that point. You're all good to go. Anything you do anywhere happens everywhere. So now it gets dicey when you want to introduce Lightroom Classic into that. And by the way, when I say dicey, I mean only from the standpoint there's just more to know. Not that it's impossible, not that it's hard. I do it every single day and lots of people do. Um, and by the way, just so you know a little bit of history behind it, Lightroom Classic was the first to sync to the cloud. There was no Lightroom Cloud desktop, you know, more than four or five years ago. So Lightroom Classic has been syncing to the cloud for years because we used to call it Lightroom Mobile. It was basically the way to get your Lightroom Classic images to your uh, iPad. That's how it all started because Lightroom used to start on mobile was an iPad app first. All right, so now, now that we can see that it's really the same images, no matter what, now let's talk about, um, let's talk about Classic. All right. Now the difference here is Lightroom Classic, and by the way, that same image is there and the same image flipped. Uh, Lightroom Classic is not 
the same when it comes to syncing. First and foremost, it is one catalog only. So if you want to combine all your catalogs into one, go watch the other video. Um, it's something you turn on for that one catalog. So it's not on by default. Where you go to turn it on is in the upper right hand corner, this little cloud icon. And when you go to that little cloud icon, mine says pause syncing because I'm, I'm syncing already. I already have turned on. Yours will be a little play button that says start syncing. Now, once you click that start syncing for your main one catalog or the catalog you want to sync with, still nothing happens. Nothing will happen until you either A, have some images in the cloud already that need to come down to Lightroom Classic, or B, let's say you've not started anything yet, until you tell it what to sync. And we're going to do that process right now. So I've already turned it on. Mine was already on to, be, to, begin, to begin with. I never turn it off. It's always on. I never pause it unless I'm doing some testing, but I never really have a reason to pause it. So it's just on all the time. Now, next up, let's say that I want to create a new collection for this class today. And I'm going to uh, create a new collection because the syncing in Lightroom Classic is collection based. So if you want to decide what syncs, the images have to be in a collection to tell Lightroom to sync them. So I'm gonna create a new collection and I'm gonna call this new collection, Keeping Everything in Sync. And I'm gonna tell it to put it in my Photography Masterclass set, which is this Photography Masterclass set we're working in. I'm not gonna tell it to include any photos right now. And I'm going to, yes, tell it, let's, and by, by the way, I'm going to turn this off. But if you knew you wanted to sync it, you can go ahead and tell it to sync with Lightroom right now. But I'm going to pretend it was a, it was a collection we already had that had never been synced, which it will be. So I'm going to go ahead and get, click create. And that will create the what's new, or no, actually not that one. It will create the keeping everything in sync collection that we just made, which is empty because we told it not to include any photos. So it has zero photos, and you'll notice that there's a little box to the left of it that is unlinked or unchecked. So this is how you designate which collections sync with Lightroom Cloud and which ones don't. So by default, none of your collections just by turning on syncing or starting syncing will sync. You have to tell it which ones you want. And that's actually a benefit because maybe I don't want all of my photos synced. Maybe I just want um, specific collections, my, my portfolios or client work or whatever, but maybe I don't want personal photos synced. So this way I get to pick and choose which ones sync up to the cloud. All right, so now let's say that I go ahead and I turn on, um, I, I enable the syncing. So I'm, I'm hovering over the box. I'm going to go ahead and click it. Now that it's clicked, when I hover away, it's got it turned on. Now again, nothing has been uh, added to that, to that collection yet, so therefore nothing has synced. But let's go see what it did in the cloud version. We head over to the cloud version, and we scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna guess in a few seconds or so, we're gonna see that out, which by the way, there's a terminology difference in Lightroom Classic. They're called collections and Lightroom Cloud. They're called albums. So there should be a new album that appears at the bottom. And you might say, well, why doesn't it put it in the same um, the same area that you did it in Lightroom Classic? Because these are albums, <laughs> those are collections, and more importantly, it does not um, recognize. There's a the, even though we call them collection sets. I have a collection set called Photography Masterclass. In Lightroom, they're called folders. So there's a folder called Photography Masterclass. And though that, that um, structure does not sync. So it's only the albums that sync, and then you have to replicate the, the um, you have to replicate the uh, structure. So here at the very bottom, you can see it did create it. There it is, keeping everything in sync with zero photos. And it put it at the very bottom of the list because it doesn't know the structure that I have in Lightroom Classic. All right, now that doesn't mean I can't pick it up and oh, <laughs> drag it too far. Hang on. That doesn't mean I can't pick it up and drag it up and put it 
where I want it to go. So I can go all the way up and put it in my photography master, oh, not that far, photography master class. Twirl up Adobe, there we go. And so now it is in the same structure as I have in classic. So here it is in, in, in um, here it is in Lightroom in the cloud version. And here it is in Lightroom classic. So, so far, all we did was turn on syncing, create a new collection, tell that collection to sync, verify that it did sync up to the cloud with zero photos, and then moved it into the same structure in Lightroom, in the cloud. So that also means if I now bring up my phone, because the phone is already, oh, hang on, sorry, wrong one. The phone, because the phone automatically does whatever's, whatever represent, whatever's represented in the cloud. If I go to Photography Masterclass and I scroll up, there it is, keeping everything in sync, uh, empty. So no matter where I do my work, once it's in the cloud, the desktop cloud version, the phone cloud version of Lightroom and the iPad version all represent the same thing. So now if I were to switch over to my iPad, which I will do, because there's somebody that's gonna say, well, what about on the iPad? If I switch over to my iPad, let's do it this way. There we go. And I go to Photography Masterclass. I'm already in that. And there it is, keeping everything in sync right there. All right, so it's on the iPad, it's on the phone, it's on desktop, and it's on both desktops. Okay, so far so good. Next up, what if I go in and add something? I wanna add a photo to that collection in Lightroom Classic. So let's do that first. So let's go back to the desktop. And let's go to Lightroom Classic. And let's go ahead and um, grab something to put in there. Let's go into, uh, I have, already have a folder called Syncing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, this picture of an apple and drag it into that collection. And so, and that particular picture had already been synced up, but it, if it hadn't, if it was a brand new image I just imported, it would sync it up. Um, now, let me be very clear when I say it would sync it up. And this is the biggest distinction across the board. This is the biggest difference between Lightroom Classic and Lightroom Syncing. This is the holy grail of, of knowing what this is doing. So here we go. <laughs> if you sync up, meaning I add an image in Lightroom Classic and it syncs it up to the cloud, and yeah, it'll be in all the collections everywhere. It is not, I repeat, it is not, one more time, it is not syncing the full resolution. It is only syncing a smart preview. Even if you didn't make a smart preview yet, that's all that gets synced up. So that means that if, if, if this were a 48 megapixel raw file, it would still only be a 2540 pixel on the longest edge smart preview in the cloud. It's still gonna be full resolution in Lyron Classic, it's still gonna be full resolution on my desktop, but as far as the cloud is concerned, coming from Lightroom Classic, it has always and only ever synced smart previews. Now, that sounds like a disadvantage and, and depends on what you're trying to do, it could be. It's a disadvantage, meaning that that image is technically not backed up. Even though it's synced it to the cloud and if something happened to this hard drive, that smart preview would be in the cloud, but the raw file, if something happened to this hard drive, would be gone. So this is not a backup from Classic, it's not. From Lightroom it is, because Lightroom always syncs the full version, full resolution. So that means that I still have to back up Lightroom Classic, I still have to back up my catalog, I still have to back up all my images, because this is only syncing to the cloud for the benefit of sharing, editing on the go, doing stuff with it, putting it in albums, but not backing the full resolution up, because the full resolution never has, and I don't know, it's hard to say ever will, so I won't predict, but it never has backed up the full resolution to the cloud. It's incapable of doing that. 
So once again, it's a smart preview. So if I now go look at Lightroom Cloud, and there's my Apple because it synced it, but I were to go click on that Apple and I were to do a, a info on it, it's going to tell me in the info that <laughs> I happen to use one that is an original that was already in the cloud. But it would tell me it's a smart preview and it would be both a smart preview. This particular one that I drug in was one that was already a full resolution from the cloud that I took with my camera. So bad example, <laughs> let me do this right. All right, let me go to Lightroom Classic and let me do one that I know is not, uh, that is not a full resolution already in the cloud. Let me go get an older one or something. Uh, yeah, this is this is definitely not already in the cloud. So let me let me add this one in. So I just want you to be able to see the difference. So let's drag this one in. And, yep, keeping everything in sync. There it is. And so now we'll give that one a few seconds to sync up. And that's a Photoshop file. This one is a, a shot, an image I shot with the with the phone camera. So when I shot it with phone camera, it did sync up to full resolution in Lightroom, not classic. So in other words, the full resolution was already in the cloud. Remember I told you this image was already in the cloud. That's why. All right, uh, let's give that a few more seconds to sync. I can see the sync status over here in the right hand corner. That's what I'm waiting on. So when that little blue um, circle changes to a green check mark, that means that it's done. Let me show you that one more time. There we go. So that little blue circle is always indicating what it's doing. And um, by the way, just as a bit of trivia, and there's, there's the green, so it's finished. Lightroom Classic doesn't sync every second of the day. It's like not syncing constantly. It's about a 30 second interval because it does, just doesn't want to ping your network 24 seven constantly. So it looks for a change every 30 seconds it sees a change, then it goes ahead and syncs it. All right, so now let's head over to Lightroom where there's the statue of, or <laughs> the statue, the uh, Eiffel Tower image. And if I were to look at it now, now we can see it, there we go. Sync from Lightroom Classic, the local version, meaning on the hard drive is a smart preview in Lightroom Cloud, and the cloud only has a smart preview. So once again, take the Apple example away because that was a bad example. In this case, this is, the way Lightroom Classic works. It creates a smart preview on the fly in the background, syncs it up, and that's all you get in the cloud. You will never have the original, unless something drastically changes in the, in the future, you won't have the original in the cloud. So now if I go back to this Apple and say, I was mistaken, let's go ahead and remove that from this album, um, then it will remove it from the album and um, remove it from the out the collection as well because it the management is the same across the board the resolution is not so does that make sense am I, I just want to make sure I'm not losing everyone so someone's asking to confirm syncing from Lightroom Classic the image does not go against your cloud storage correct that's another benefit because Lightroom Classic is only syncing smart previews up to the cloud there has always been an unlimited number of smart previews that you can sync. So you could sync 500,000 images from Lightroom Classic and none of that will count against your cloud storage because coming from Lightroom Classic, it's unlimited because it's not syncing the full resolution. All right, um, so I saw a question about from Jimmy Allen, can you, make, uh, can you show how to make rain in Photoshop? That will be for another day on special effects in Photoshop, but I will add that to the list. And uh, Kathy's saying, I still have eight photos that say they're syncing, hover over them, it says they're synced, but I keep getting the message, how do I repair this issue? So Kathy, um, let, me, let me just cover it now because I probably won't remember to cover it at the end. I was gonna say, wait till the end, I'll cover uh, things that don't work. Um, if you look at my catalog area up here in the upper left-hand corner of Lightroom Classic, if there are sync errors, meaning that something's going on and it just says that there's something that's not syncing, it will have it will create an automatic collection called sync errors. So you can see what those 8, 5, 6, 20 photos are that are not syncing and go and investigate as to what's going on with them. 
Usually I have found that when it's a sync error, there's something about the photo it doesn't like. It's the format, it could be corrupted, it could be a number of things, but there's usually something about the photo. If it's not showing up in the sync errors, the other place to look for this is in your preferences under uh, Lightroom Sync, and any errors would be here in the bottom portion of this window. So in your preferences, in the Lightroom Sync tab, any errors would be in the lower portion of this. And then same thing, investigate what those photos are that refuse to sync. Um, that's the best I can give you because, I, I, you know, like I said, there could be a dozen little things of why those photos aren't syncing. I've had it happen too. And I've just gone in and either opened the image up in Photoshop and resaved it or did something to it to make a new file so that it would sync that new file um, because there was something about it it didn't like. All right, so now what we've done, quick recap, turn on syncing, created a collection, enabled uh, syncing on that collection, added a photo from Lightroom Classic to that collection and saw that it only syncs the smart preview up to the cloud. And that smart preview up to the cloud is 2540. In this case, it's a tall image. So 2540 tall by whatever wide in the cloud. If I go make any changes to the photo, those image, those changes come down to Lightroom Classic. So for example, if I were on my phone and I decide to work on this photo that I synced. So here it is on my phone and I tap on this photo and I were to, again, I'm, I'm not trying to turn this into an editing class. I'm just gonna do something visually different so you can see it. So I flip it so the purse is going the other way. And I now say, okay. And um, uh, let's do one more thing. Let's go into uh, profiles actually. Presets. Uh, I wanted to go into profiles. There we go. And I go to black and white and I make it a black and white as well. Okay, so now I've done two non-destructive edits. And again, I'm on my phone and my phone will um, eventually say that it's synced and backed up, so it's already done. So the editing has already happened as far as the cloud is concerned. The editing's happening to that smart preview in the cloud. But keep in mind in Lightroom Classic, it's the full resolution of a Photoshop file with layers and whatever else it has. And those changes will be represented once Lightroom syncs, boom, it just happened in Lightroom Classic and I see it there. Okay, so now if I go into the develop module in Lightroom Classic and I say, wait, what was this stupid thing I did on my phone? I can go in and I can say, oh no, I really do want that in color. I don't want that in black and white. And I could go in and also go to the crop and flip it. So I can flip it back as well. I can make any changes I want. So any changes, again, are not permanent in Lightroom no matter where you do them because Lightroom has always been about non-destructive editing. Okay, so now that we got that done, let's go in and, uh, what am I doing? yeah, uh, that's certainly, um, certainly an option as well. Uh, is it Deedon? Um, going to Lightroom web to see if they're synced. You do not have to do, you do not have to use the desktop or mobile if you just want to see if they're synced. All right, and again, if I go back here, the color has been restored. And if I go to the phone, the color has been restored. And again, the syncing happens across the board. Okay, so I think we beat that to death. Now let's go in and talk about adding photos. This is where another, a lot of people get tripped up where it's the other way around. So we understand what's happening in Lightroom Classic add as many photos as I want, sync as many smart previews as I want, unlimited, does not count against my cloud storage, and it will always only be a smart preview in the cloud as of this recording. Because <laughs> again, I can't predict the future, I don't know what would happen. But as of right now, there are no plans to change it, uh, it will always only be a smart preview coming to the cloud from Lightroom Classic. Okay, next up, let's say I go to my phone. Oh, same, sorry wrong thing go to my phone and this is a question that constantly came up during the conference what if i shot some images on my camera on my phone like in the camera roll the apple camera the android camera whatever camera app you're using they're in the camera roll how do i get those images into lightroom so i do it automatically but let's say you want to do it manually you notice at the bottom of the collection 
or album in this case, there is a plus sign. First of all, there's a camera icon on the bottom blue right. That's to actually bring up the Lightroom camera, but we're gonna pretend you don't know about the Lightroom camera and it doesn't exist. You just wanna bring up images that you shot with your phone. Well, if you tap that, um, that plus sign, it will let you choose where you're gonna get the images from and you can use the camera roll. So you could say, hey, there are 50 images I shot on my camera roll. I would love to bring on all 50 of those images and bring them into Lightroom. Let's do it. And it will do it that way. However, I said I do it automatically. How do I do it automatically? I don't wanna have to pick and choose every time. I just want every time I launch Lightroom, any new images I shot on my phone will automatically be brought in. So now let's, let's go back to the all photos view. So I'm just backing out. And at the very top is the all photos view, which represents everything that's in, in Lightroom Cloud, 64,000 images, some are, some are high res, some are smart previews, depending on where they came from. And now I'm gonna go into my upper right corner where I have the app settings. So you see the app settings at the bottom of, of that window? And you notice that there is a import. And under import, I have auto add from camera roll. I have photos turned on. I have videos turned on. I do not want my screenshots in Lightroom. Usually if I'm taking a screenshot, it's for documentation or I'm screenshotting some receipt or something. I don't need that in Lightroom. I don't wanna mess up my, I don't wanna clutter my Lightroom photography with screenshots. So I was so happy when they added the ability, the separate ability to turn off screenshots because before it used to bring in everything, photos, screenshots, whatever you, whatever you told it. So now since I have photos turned on and videos turned on, any new images, it's not retroactive. So if you go turn that on right now, it's not gonna bring in 20,000 images you have on your camera roll. It's from that point on. So when you turn it on, it is from this point on, any new images you said will, um, will be imported into Lightroom. So that means now that that's turned on and I get out of my settings here and I go to my, my, go to my camera app on my phone, and I have this Adobe cup here, and I'll even turn on raw. Raw is on. I can't tell. Yeah, raw is on. And I'll just go ahead and shoot this cup. All right, and I'll shoot it from a different angle. And I'll shoot it from a different angle. Okay, so I, I took three bad shots of that cup. So now I can get out of the camera app. I don't care about the camera app anymore. I can go to Lightroom. And in a few seconds, those images should start to come in. There they are. They just popped into Lightroom the minute I launched it. Because, because I have auto import turned on for photos and videos, any new photos added to the camera roll will come in every time I launch the app. All right. Uh, can you do it automatically from my Canon R from Canon Connect tethering to Lightroom? No. Um, well, yes and no, <laughs> because tethering, first of all, is only in Lightroom Classic. There's no tethering in Lightroom Cloud. So Lightroom Classic has tethering. So technically you could make a collection, have that collection synced and tether to automatically add images to that collection. So as you shoot them, they're automatically uploaded as smart previews to the cloud. So that's the way it would have to work there. All right, so now those uh, three images are raw files, so they're syncing. I see the little three dots on my phone going across there. And now let's say I also want to put those cups, because right now those cups are not in an album. They're not in a collection. They're just sitting on the all photos view. So if I want to put those in a collection or album, album in this case is what it's called, I would hit the three dot menu. I would choose select photos. Boom, boom, boom. And then I would say at the very bottom, bottom left, add to. So when I choose add to, I can tell it where to add them. Um, demo, photography masterclass, keeping everything in sync, which is right there. So now I'll add those three photos to that album. So if I go back now and look at that album, uh, demo, Photography Masterclass, 
uh, keeping everything in sync. There they are. They're in there and look at Lightroom Classic in the background. Now Lightroom Classic has brought them in to the same collection, which is an album in Lightroom Cloud. They're also, I just looked at my iPad. They're also on my iPad as well. There they are, right there. And notice it says DNGs because it brought in the full RAW file from my iPhone camera, the full Apple Pro RAW. 12 megapixel full raw file got uploaded to the cloud. Okay, so now let's talk about that distinction. If I were to go to Lightroom Cloud on my computer and I were to click on one of those cups and I were to um, bring it up, it will. I don't want to show you guys the, I want to show you the geotagging, but it will bring it up and it should say original backed up. And it would also say the um, original backed up and the uh, original is probably on the desktop as well. So in other words, both are originals at this point. Let me see if I can do it from here. Let me see if it shows me here. It does not, but trust me, that's what it says. I just don't want to show the geotagging information of where this photo was taken. All right, but anyway, that's where it would that's both are in the cloud full resolution now and they're also in lightroom classic full resolution not just a smart preview because lightroom classic only syncs up smart previews but it syncs down whatever it is if it's a smart preview it syncs it down if it's a full resolution it syncs it down it syncs down whatever the original is so let's just say Smart previews up from Lightroom Classic, originals down, whatever the original happens to be. JPEG, HEIC file, uh, DNG, native raw file, whatever it is, gets synced down. Where does it go in Lightroom Classic, which is the next question. So in Lightroom Classic, because I moved them into the same, um, the same collection, we see them there. But where are they physically on the hard drive? Because we didn't import them into the, uh, we didn't import them into Lightroom Classic. We didn't import them into the cloud. I mean, into um, our hard drive from here. So where did they go? If it brought the originals down, where do the originals go that come in from Lightroom? So let's go in. I'm going to do it two ways. First, let's go to our preferences. You tell it where. In that same Lightroom Sync tab in Lightroom Classic, there is a section that says, Specify location for Lightroom synced images. This is a folder on whatever drive you want, external, internal, NAS, whatever you want, where you tell it any photos that come down from the cloud, they go here. Now, I just happen to have them in a, in a Dropbox folder, so they're synced across my computers. But you can put them anywhere you want. It's up to you. The photos, the physical DNGs, TIFFs, JPEGs, PSDs, whatever they are coming from the cloud will go to wherever this location is that you specify there's a default location but you can go ahead and change it to whatever drive you want to accumulate all those photos that are coming down from the cloud that you shot on your phone or that you imported into lightroom cloud or that you imported on your ipad wherever you got them from this is where they're going to go in lightroom classic now another problem that people have we did it Lightroom Classic up and then down to Lightroom Cloud. And then we put some images in there that went up to the cloud and came down to Lightroom Classic. So the structure was already created. We don't have to do anything else, but let's go do it the other way around. Let's say that I go into Lightroom and I go create an album in the cloud, meaning I'm creating an album in the cloud version that didn't originate from Lightroom Classic. So let's say that we create a new, um, we'll take these three cups and we're gonna create a new album called Cups I Like. <laughs> All right, and we'll say include the three photos, yep. And yeah, go ahead and put them in the Photography Masterclass so that they're in the same uh, folder as it would be a collection set in Lightroom Classic. And there they are. Um, there it is. So it made that album. 
They're already synced, so I didn't have to do anything else but create an album. And I put them in the Photography Masterclass folder, aka collection set, and done. But wait, if I go back to Lightroom Classic, there's no collection called Cups I Like. Well, there is. Remember I told you it, does, it doesn't mimic the structure? It's there. It's just not in, in this collection set because collection sets and folders in the cloud don't sync back and forth the same. The structure is not maintained. So where is it? Where is that new album I just created in the cloud? Where did it come down to in Lightroom Classic? I'm just closing up all these other collections. You will have a collection set called from Lightroom Mobile that gets created automatically for you. Once you turn on sync and then once you go put something in the cloud that gets created. So in other words, I created that album in the cloud version. It gets automatically added to from Lightroom Mobile in Lightroom Classic. So if I go twirl that down, there should be a cups I like, there it is. And I can now move it anywhere I want. It doesn't have to stay there. I can go move it up to demo photography masterclass. There it is. Cups I like, three cups. So that's the other question that people always ask is if I go shoot something on my phone, create an album, put it in Lightroom, do some editing. Where is it in Lightroom Classic? Where is that album I created? Because it doesn't show up by default in the open. So you'd have to know to go get it from, Light, from the From Lightroom Mobile collection set and then move it wherever you want after that and it will stay synced. So now if I go into Lightroom Classic and make change, let's again, just a quick visual change so you can see the difference. Let's just go in and um, I forgot what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, we'll we'll crop it. Well, actually, no. Let's go in and let's not do it this way. Let's go to photo and let's flip horizontal. All right, there we go. So we'll flip it. We'll make Adobe backwards, so we know it's a visual change. We can see it. That change has already synced up to the cloud. And so now, if I go back to Lightroom. Uh, that change should come down in a few seconds and that middle cup it was the middle one right the middle cup should flip uh, to the opposite side and since it's the same cups it doesn't matter whether I look at them in the um, cups I like collection or if I look at them in the keeping everything in sync uh, album I shouldn't say it, collection album and it doesn't matter which one. So in a few seconds, that change should be, it should happen. I already see it on the iPad, so I know it's happened in the cloud. We're just waiting for the cloud version to catch up. All right, uh, cups I like. We'll give it a few more seconds. Uh, classic team thought of almost everything. Uh, what didn't they think of, Sean? You said they thought of, all, there it is. Okay, so the club, cup flipped over in Lightroom Cloud. That means it flipped over everywhere. And that means that it is um, across the board. Now, I would be remiss if I, at this moment, didn't talk about this. Let me go ahead and launch my browser. Browser. Lightroom. Dot, Lightroom. Dot, Adobe. Dot com is a website that once you're logged in with your uh, Adobe ID, it's all of your uh, Lightroom images that are synced. So if I go to Photography Masterclass and I go to Cups I Like, there they are. So it is the same images, even in the web browser version of Lightroom. And if you didn't want to ever install Lightroom Cloud on your desktop, you could always just go verify things in Lightroom web browser as someone mentioned in the uh, chat. So those are the kinds of things that people have been getting tripped up on so far. So now, quick quiz. <laughs> These three cups. Shot them on my phone in RAW. So, are they backed up?
Are they backed up? Yes or no? I'll wait for your answer. But for those of you who haven't typed in an answer yet, yes. Because where they originated from, yeah, see, Kathy said no. Where they originated from was my phone into Lightroom Cloud. So Lightroom Cloud always syncs up the full version. So they are backed up. If I lost all my devices, if all my devices fell off the planet and I got all new devices and I signed into Adobe, those three cups would be the full resolution and there. Would Is this image backed up in the cloud? The Eiffel Tower image? No, because it all goes back to where it originated from. That originated from Lightroom Classic synced to the cloud, which only is a smart preview. So it is not backed up. If all my devices got trashed, I lost all my drives, lost everything, and I got all new equipment and signed in, I would still have that smart preview, but that's all I would have. I would not have the original because the original was supposedly backed up by me in Lightroom Classic to wherever I'm going to back it up to. It has nothing to do with Adobe Cloud from that point as far as a backup is concerned. So the three cups are in fact backed up because those originals got synced up. Those full 12 megapixel DNG originals got synced up, whereas the Smart Preview did not. So... I see a bunch of people saying no. I, so again, that means I'm not making this clear enough. It all depends on where it originates from. So if I stick a memory card in right now, I think I might have one. I try to keep one for demonstration purposes. Let's see if I got one here. There is one. I don't know what's on it, but let's see. All right, I have a memory card. There it is, memory card. I'm gonna go ahead and put this memory card in my computer. I don't know what's on it, but we're gonna see. All right, let's see if that comes up. Ooh, popped up right away. All right, here's a memory card. Only problem is some of these may already be um, in Lightroom. Okay, here's one. All right, here's a here's a um, a picture from uh, Amsterdam, and let's see, some of these are old. All right, that's from Iceland. Iceland. Okay, let's take these candles. Now, if I drag this candle image into Lightroom Cloud, or into this, let's just drag it right into this uh, album, keeping everything in sync. Add one photo. So see if it lets me do it. Good, it did it. So that NEF file, that raw file from my Nikon camera, is now being backed up to the cloud. It's full resolution. So if I lost all my devices, I would be able to get new devices, sign in, and that one... Oh, no was the second image. Okay, got you. All the no's were correct. You are right on the Eiffel Tower. You were right. Sorry, I was still thinking of the first images. So yes, you are correct, uh, Colin. <laughs> so if all, if I, uh, once that image is, has been synced, if I lost all my devices and got new devices and signed in, I would be able to download full resolution, that candle image again, and that candle image would be as it always was, is enough file full resolution. Now, if I were to go to Lightroom Classic and cancel out of the import dialog box for a second. I forgot where I put, put it. I put it in keeping everything in sync. Okay, let's go there. Here comes the candle image and that's the full resolution. Because remember, Full resolution goes up to the cloud and full resolution comes down to Lightroom Classic. So I'm all set. I'm intact. All my Lightroom Classic images are the full resolution. They always will be. What's not going to be the full resolution is if I import it into, so now we're going to do that. Let's go to import. 
And let's go in and grab. Let's go in and grab from that untitled. Let's uncheck all. I don't want all of them. Let's bring in this one. All right, so we're going to bring in this, this church image. And we're going to tell it to, while we're at it, you can even tell it where to put it. So I'm going to tell it to put it in. Uh, dun, 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 destination. We're going to tell it to put it in one folder called Keeping in Sync. And we're going to tell it also to add to collection. So we can add it to a collection right here on the, on the fly. So we're going to add it to a collection in Lightroom Classic under demo, keeping everything in sync should be there. Oh, photography masterclass first, which for some reason is at the bottom of these. Keeping everything in sync. There we go. That's where I'm going to tell it to put it. Import that one image, copy it, done. So now, because if we go to keeping everything in sync again, Uh, dun, 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 dun. There it is. That church image is now being synced up to the cloud, but it's only being synced as a smart preview. So it is not being backed up. A smart preview is being synced up to the cloud. And if we go wait for it to finish and go look at it, I'll see it pop over in the iPad. I'll know it's done. But then we'll see it, and then we'll be able to actually go look at this one. I don't have to worry about the geotag, and it'll tell us what it is. All right, uh, so if I shoot raw, and then add an, Im add an album on my iPad on Lightroom, and then all of the images will sync to Lightroom Classic. Correct. And they will also all be backed up because you imported them into your iPad, which is the cloud version. So they will tie up space in your whatever space allotment you have, and they will sync down to Lightroom Classic in their full resolution, and they will be backed up. It's only going the other way that it's not the same. All right, I see it over there on the iPad. Let's pop over to Lightroom Cloud. There it is. Now, if I do get info, this is what I wanted to show you, is that it's showing me Smart Preview, Smart Preview, because that's all Lightroom Classic is capable of. But if I go look at the candles, it's showing me original, original, because it's backed up. It got imported into Lightroom. Lightroom Classic has all originals. Lightroom Cloud only has originals that were imported via the Lightroom Cloud apps. Desktop, iPad, phone. Did I make it clear? <laughs> Ask any questions you have in the last two minutes of the stream that you have. So hopefully, People that are watching this video in the future, I hopefully have conveyed all the various questions that I normally get asked about things like this uh, when you're syncing across both platforms. Can you talk about show space available in Lightroom Cloud? Can you talk about how to show? Oh, so up here in the upper right-hand corner, it always shows you when you click on the cloud icon how much space you have. So I'm using 728 gigabytes. I have 10 terabytes as an employee, but you might have one terabyte, you might have two terabytes, you might have five terabytes. I don't know, you might only have 20 gigs. But whatever you are using will show up here in the upper right-hand corner. This will not show smart previews because they don't count against that space. This is only showing me images that count against that space. Also, if I go back out and I look at my all photos, that will give me the number of images that have been synced. So six, 64,059 images, some are smart previews, some are originals, but 64,059 images have been synced total. If I make changes on any kind of images, the images get changed everywhere. If I import via any one of the Lightroom Cloud apps, they're backed up. If I import via Lightroom Classic, smart previews are up. They're not backed up unless I back them up locally. I cover everything. If I create an album in Lightroom Cloud, the album gets synced down to a special collection set called From Lightroom Mobile, and I can move it wherever I want after that. I can create the album or collection in either place. I can throw images in it in either place, 
and it will sync across the board. It's just what gets synced depends on where the originating image started from. Lightroom Classic, Smart Previews only. Lightroom Cloud, full backup. And Lightroom Classic keeps everything as originals. Okay, <laughs> that's it. That is the topic I've been wanting to tackle for a long time. And hopefully if there's another question I did not answer, what happens to the photo downloaded from the cloud when it is deleted in the cloud? Okay, so uh, Ronald's asking a great question. So let's say I go delete the cups. They stay in Lightroom Classic because they're download, the originals are downloaded. They would be deleted from the cloud. So that's one way you can clear up space. So the last question I always get, I don't have room on my phone for 64,000 images. We, none of us do. So it, it dynamically only puts the images on the phone that you're currently working on as you just import it. The rest are synced up to the cloud. It shows them to you, but it doesn't download them until you actually go to do something with it, like try to export it. All right, so I am out of time. Hopefully I got them all. Hopefully I covered everything. Bye everybody, have a great weekend. We'll catch you in two weeks for this class. Next week I am out of town. Bye everybody.